The participants gain a greater historical understanding and deeper emotional involvement through seminars such as this one, meetings with Holocaust survivors, and, of course, their experiencing of the special atmosphere here. For some of these young people, it is their first exposure to this painful chapter in history and first attempt to grasp its magnitude. Many students take advantage of Yad Vashem's facilities to prepare academic papers. The Einus challenge set by Hitler and his cohorts for the Germans and the collaborators was no less than the total annihilation of the Jewish people. It could never have been achieved without the willing cooperation of local collaborators in occupied lands. After a relatively slow start, the Germans devoted themselves to the final solution. At Van Zee, in January 1942, it was officially decided to exterminate all European Jews. Total count, over 11 million. The civilized world did not suffocate from the fumes emanating from the furnaces. One and a half million children were among those murdered as part of this plan. There can be neither revenge nor pardon. It is possible only to remember, never to forget. The children's memorial garden was planted on the highest ground at Yad Vashem, while the memorial hall itself is an underground structure. A tunnel leads into an exhibit of three-dimensional photographs of young victims. Only a few of their photographs have remained, but their names have not been and will never be forgotten. They reverberate continuously as they are read aloud in the hall. A set of memorial candles is infinitely multiplied. Each reflection represents the soul of a Jewish child who perished.
Each year, Yad Vashem conducts the official state ceremony on the Martyrs and Heroes Remembrance Day. The ceremony takes place at the Warsaw Ghetto Plaza and is broadcast live on Israeli television. Participants include the president, ministers, Holocaust survivors, and representatives of various groups. Dr. Yitzhak Arad, chairman of Yad Vashem, addresses the audience. The Jewish people and the state of Israel are united on this day of remembrance in honor of the martyrs and heroes of the Holocaust perpetrated by the Germans and the collaborators. Today, we remember the six million Jews murdered in the ghettos and camps by the Einsatzgruppen, the tens of thousands of our people who perished fighting the Nazi enemy in the ghetto and camp uprisings, and those who fell as partisans in the forests and as soldiers of the Allied forces. Years. Here, at Yad Vashem, the memory of the victims is engraved on the collective memory of the nation. <laughs> 